outrageous. Oh, you know, I usually like to just uh, just think about the job, think about you know sequence of operation, and just get in the mindset of uh, troubleshooting and the steps I should take. You know where I should start with, given the the, the reason for the call. So that's pretty much what I do to kind of get in the mindset of things and you know and just kind of relax and you know take take it from there. Once you. All right, guys. So just walking up to my unit. Uh, I set up before I started the video, so um, it's supposed to be tripping uh, the limit switch. This a furnace right with a coil so an air handler uh ac in furnace gas fired obviously i'm sorry that's my light I'm sorry anyways all right guys so here we have it this is the furnace it's tripping the limit here i know it's on don't do that turn off the power first if you're gonna touch in there i'm just sometimes a little uh a little spazzy but anyways, it's tripping high limit. And the limit here, it says, some of them say it, some of them don't. This one says it's 135 Fahrenheit. So it's tripping that. So I'm here to get this bad boy running, but I have to figure out why it's tripping it. It could be gas. But the guy that was here last time, he said the gas was fine. It's just, there's no adjustment on this. I'm not sure, actually. Oh, there is an adjustment on this one. There's two of them. I think that one doesn't have an adjustment. This one does. But gas is fine. Um, yeah, also good to inspect the filter. If this is plugged, definitely it's gonna cause your temperature to rise. Oh, oh this one's a big one. It's clean. Uh, inspect the, that. Well, not to the clothes over here. Oh, the clothes over there. Ha. Inspect the coil. As well, sometimes this coil could be plugged, so it's good to check those. Um, the guy that was here, he inspected that, so he said it was good. Anyways, all right, so first thing we do, um, definitely make a call, correct? Um, put your probes in the return, right? And another one in the supply. Make sure they're on. So we're gonna fire it up and Watch our temperature, but first, I'm gonna put him in, in there. So, stand by for that. All right, guys, so now we're gonna watch this unit fire. Uh, as you can see, the first thing to start up on a call for heat will be your induced draft, right? Making sure that heat exchangers is nice and clean from the exhaust from the previous call. So that's the first thing it's, it's gonna do. Um, I'll go over sequence of operations some other time, but for right now, we're going to figure out why is this tripping my high limit, okay? Like I said, you have a probes ready, right? Over there and over there. So, let's find out what's going on. Yeah. Okay, purchase switch closed. Your uh, hot surface igniter. Right there is glowing, the glow thing they call it, the glow coil, the whatever, glow igniter. That's my flames, beautiful. All right, oh, we just gotta wait. Uh, I think it's about 60, 90 seconds sometimes, and the blower comes on. Um, always, always check your flames when, when the blower comes on. If they're dancing, that means something's wrong with your heater changer be uh, cracked or something so always watch the flames make sure they're nice and blue they look blue nice and blue that's what want that's beautiful so we're just waiting for the fan to kick on and then just uh, at this point we just check temperatures across the unit all right across the heat exchanger took a good temperature and if it trips, though, I will have to go downstairs and check our diffusers and our supply and returns and see what's going on with that, all right? So for now, I'm gonna watch a fire. I'm gonna wait and see what happens. 
right. Yeah, it's valve right there. Everybody's looking good. Everybody's looking clean. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll go over all that stuff in some other video, but for now, this is real life field stuff. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right, so, <clears throat> this is our temperature. That's not good. It's 133. Like I said, our limit right there trips at 135 that's we're pretty close and our return is i don't know if you can see that 76 degrees that's pretty bad um so it's gonna trip any minute now so right now what we're gonna have to do is go down to the space and inspect and check the diffusers i'll show you in a minute uh the diffuser make sure the return and the supply, they're not close together. All right, guys, this is the space. Uh, this is our unit uh, supply right there. That's our unit supply. So these are all the supply branches for that unit, right? That's one, two, right? That's all the supply branches. That's the supply and the return it's open plenum so open plenum return is just open to the whole once they put the tile up the return would just come from the spades itself it's not really ducted so that's the return and that's my supply so imagine if this is blowing hot air and hot air rises it's going straight into my return right now because we don't have the grids up yet so this guy right here is our problem. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna move him, take him, put him all the way over there, and try again until we get, I mean once, until we get that uh, supply or return air to cool down more, to come down to like 70, 68 degrees. So we're gonna move him over there and go from there, all right guys? You don't want hot air going in, straight into your return and increasing that, that supply air temp because, you know, you trip your high high limit switch. So we don't want that. So you're getting switched out. You hear me, boy? You're getting switched. All right, stand by. Yeah, we are back in our unit. Flip the switch. Okay, put the filter panel back on. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do this one handed. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, sure with the right hand. It's a little, little clips in there. It's supposed to clip in. Come on. There you go. Yeah. There you go. All right, so he's there. Our unit, it's gonna take a, quite a few minutes just to turn on our tape. It's not very good tape. I sure got silver tape, but we should be all right. Anyways, we're gonna wait for this guy to turn on, check our temps again, see if what we did worked, and you already know what's up. Should work. Anyways, if you like this kind of content, content, Sorry, my English goes in and out sometimes. Um, yeah. Subscribes. Not subscribes. Subscribe. And let me know what you think. Okay? Cool. Later. I'm out.